Okay, so let's take some breaths together, getting ready to connect with our bodies, uh, to let go of what's not serving us and reconnect to the light that is within and around us. So let's begin by taking some breaths coming in through the nose and then do a nice long out breath, longer than the in breath, just joining the head and the body back together again and resting into parasympathetic nervous system. So when you are ready, if you haven't begun already, let's start to take those breaths. If when you're taking the breaths or letting the breaths out, you feel that there's noise or sound to be made, go ahead and make that sound. Allow your body to really release everything that it's hanging on to. With your next breath, I want you to make sure that you're cozy and comfy, that your spine is comfortable, that your hips are comfortable, that your legs are relaxed. Just allow the shoulders to start to fold down into the back. Maybe if you're laying down, you're resting into the bed or the sofa, just allowing the furniture to support you as you begin to relax. Notice where cushions or duvets or pillows meet with your body. Just noticing that place where they touch and bringing your awareness to that place and perhaps breathing in as if you are breathing directly into that place. Really allow your lower body to sink down. If you're sitting, really pay, pay attention to where your spine um, is and your body, your belly space is meeting the lower half of you that's connected to the chair. Really notice the weight of your body coming into the pelvic bowl resting down through your glutes and your legs. If you are laying, notice where your glutes and your legs connect with the surface. Can you adjust yourself just a little more to make yourself even more comfortable? giving yourself permission to just relax. your feet 
need to move further out. Is there any more alignment that needs to happen in order for the body to just relax more deeply? Your mind is still wandering around, thinking about what happened today, what could or should or was said, what wasn't said, things still to do. If your mind is not thoroughly with you in this moment and your body, I'd like you to call your awareness to behind your eyes as if you are pulling it back from all the places where it's been bringing it back to the here and the now it might feel like a buzzing or a fullness behind the eyes Then when you feel that that awareness has collected itself, begin to kind of pull it back, backwards in the head, in line with the ears or slightly behind until you find the place that feels like it drops down just a little. And in this place where it drops down just a little, there'll be a sense of easing more spaciousness and a quietening down and just give that a go now And as you find your awareness in that quietened down space, the grounding for the mind space, just notice how much more easy you feel within yourself. Perhaps you feel a little heavier. Perhaps there's a sense of hearing with more clarity and ease. Perhaps there's a sense of waiting patiently perhaps there's a sense of peace so let's spend some moments here breathing and relaxing with the mind and the body.
Now begin to imagine that for further grounding, for you are now grounded, but for further grounding that would stabilize you through any activities to come, imagine from that space where there's the grounding for the mind towards the back of your head, that a beautiful beam of light begins to travel down the length of your spine and down and out through the body, down through the layers of the building that you are in, connecting with Mother Earth at the surface and traveling fast towards the very center the womb space of Mother Earth, connecting in, in the best place possible for you today. And as you connect, widening that grounding cord, allowing it to be at least as wide as you, And from this centered place, this connected place, investigate, explore. Is this grounding cord going to remain with a sense of light? Would it serve you better to have the energy of a tree or a mountain? or a flowing body of water. Knowing that what you choose today may be different on another day. There's nothing fixed about this. And now begin to travel your awareness back up from the womb space of Mother Earth, up along your grounding cord, traveling fast, but easily. And with it comes a sense of nourishment, energy, support and stability. And as your awareness travels up your grounding cord to the base of your spine, these qualities come with you. And when you meet the base of your spine, begin to become aware of your pelvic bowl, your horror space, Allowing Mother Earth's energies to mingle and support, to nourish, to recharge, as well as to cleanse the energies from your hara down to your feet. Imagining that its energy as it comes in brings sustenance which dissolves, dislodges, pushes out anything that is not serving you right now. And as you become aware of this, pay attention to the areas that feel that they are releasing or are resistant to releasing. Remembering that your grounding cord encompasses the width of you. So your feet 
your ankles, your lower legs, your knees, your thighs, and your pelvic bowl, your horror space are included. Take a few moments to scan. Just becoming aware. And imagine that nourishing energy being more than just energy. As it starts to soak into your physical self. As it soaks in through your skin, down through the muscles and ligaments, tendons and blood supply lymphatic system to the very bones, the very marrow of you. Let this nourishment feed each part of your lower body on the inside and the out. you are visual, it may help to imagine this as a light energy, but this light comes into the body. The white light is buzzing around your blood supply, muscles, the nerves, soothing, cleansing and restoring. If you are kinesthetic and therefore sense things through touch and feel, tune in to the sensation of this light and how it feels within your body, into your bones. How does the space between the structures within your body feel as we ask the angels to pour even more light into our legs. They are often underappreciated, just like our feet, our ankles and our knees. Until something goes wrong, we often don't even think about them. Perhaps the sense that is most prevalent to you is how it sounds. Do you get a sense of the sound that the light makes in your body? 
that perhaps your blood makes as it receives more light. Giving yourself full permission to receive even more. And now become aware of this light, this energy, these qualities, this nourishment rising up through the mid to the upper body to the top of the head. And as it rises up, it connects with the crown chakra, causing the crown chakra to open wider inviting in the pure bright light of the divine allowing that to cascade down inside your body and the outside of your body allowing this light to mingle as it flows through the upper the mid and the lower body invigorating bringing a light and a love and an ease a joy and a playfulness into these spaces as if water is coursing through a river finding its way around the obstacles, the rocks, the curves, under and over and around. This energy does the same thing. Around the shoulder blades, under the shoulder blades, on top of the shoulder blades down and through the spine wrapping this energetic energy through the muscles of the spine and the back with every breath in you invite more of this energy in this life force energy With every breath out, allow yourself to release something that's not light, something that might be resistant. Something that feels like tension. Allow this energy to seek, to find, to love and take care of, to encompass, to reinvigorate, re-energize, to be enlightened. Feel the space that is created as this energy moves through you.
Ensure that anywhere that feels stiff or tight or sore within your body is nourished and enlivened. with this energy. And as your body becomes more and more full, sense, see, that this energy comes out of the body. It leaks like when we sweat through your pores, bringing light, ease, nourishment, vibrancy to your energetic bodies. And as you notice this energy coming into your aura, we give the aura permission to expand. And as it expands, any tensions that we have felt during the day or the last week begin to ease as the aura expands both sideways, front and back, top and bottom, just like if you blow up a balloon. More and more light, more and more life force energy. More ease. Allow it to expand. And if there have been stresses or tensions, if emotions have run high, Perhaps you felt low. Perhaps there is just stress. We invite this light to displace these emotions of the day, dissolving them within that light field, allowing your emotional body to become radiant than ever. for your heart to feel more peaceful, for your root chakra to feel even more safe. As we are held with this divine love, the trust and the safety pour in to our energy systems. Our nervous systems can just relax no need to be vigilant. This is time for relaxation and peace. Perfect way to end your day. Taking care of you in a restorative and natural way. And as that energy breaches the emotional aspect, the emotional body, it connects with the mental, where we store all our thoughts and beliefs. And again, anything that's been brought up today or created today, it's unresolved today. Just let that light and love dislodge. Let it push up and away those mental aspects that are no longer serving you, that are not required. Almost as if this area, this layer 
is like fire burning paper and the paper just floats up and away. Allowing the mind to become super calm. You might not feel this layer because it's on the mental level. You can probably easily visualize it. And whether you can or can't, just accept and acknowledge that as we speak this, it is happening. And a strong force of white light comes shooting down, cleansing this layer. As we now begin to connect with the next layer, the layer that connects directly into the heart the astral layer. And we ask the divine to infuse this layer with love, compassion, acceptance, and peace. There is wisdom in this space, but we do not need to access that right now. We're allowing this energy to just soothe and replenish. When we live with these four layers closest to the body, clear and bright, What we put out into the world is pure, is honest and honourable. Will allow us to feel more expansive. than ever before. Now we invite that white light and the golden white light as it reveals itself to come in and cleanse the remaining layers of the aura as if it is polishing, cleaning, shining your aura, allowing it to become more pure, more radiant, and this nourishing light to nourish your energy as well as your physical self.
imagine yourself encased in a beautiful bubble of divine protection and love. And just like a bubble that a child may blow with washing up liquid, imagine that you are rising, though still connected to Mother Earth, you are rising higher and higher. And as you rise, you notice the things around you that please you. As you rise, you feel that expansiveness and perhaps there's more of a sense of joy and happiness available to you here. As you rise higher and higher. And soon you are beginning to leave Earth's atmosphere while still being connected to Mother Earth for your grounding cord will stretch as far as you need it to and beyond. And as you rise higher and feel lighter and brighter you become aware of a sense of angelic support of angels. And they guide you to an energetic land in the cosmos. And they guide your bubble of love, light and safety to a pathway that leads to a temple. And your bubble begins to travel along this pathway, climbing up to the temple. And the angels are with you. You are met at the entrance to this temple by a wise person with a hugely compassionate and loving heart. One that understands your struggles your fears one that understands the goodness that you enjoy in this life one that understands the intricacies and uniqueness of being you notice the smile on this wise person's face as they greet you. So pleased that you are here. And as they 
usher you in your light bubble becomes more of a suffusing of light so that you are not separate from this wise person you are together and both are bathed in brilliant light You find yourself gazing out of a viewpoint of this temple. And this viewpoint shows you a time in your life when you were free relaxed and happy and just view this scene here what is being said if anything at all Remember what it felt like to be that version of you. And as you are aware of this scene that smaller version that younger version of you comes running towards you and passes you a gift and you take it in your enclosed hands and that younger version of you rushes back to where they were and the viewpoint starts to dissolve. And you open your hands and perceive the gift. And the wise person guides you towards another viewpoint from this temple. And notice here that there's an older version of you, the future version of you. And they come towards you with a huge smile on their faces. Huge, loving, wide open hearts, so pleased to see you. What do you notice about them? How do you feel when you look at them? What would it feel like to be them? Perhaps you have a question or two for this future self. Ask away.
perhaps they have words of wisdom for you or a gift for you and they share that with you now And now you come back to the wise, hugely loving heart person that you met at the doorway. And you notice that they're inviting you to just sit a moment. They show you to a seat. And as you begin to sit, they encourage you to just be aware of what's happening to them just for a moment as they cease this old wise outer shell and become a thing of beauty of love and joy abundance expansive creative energy And as you gaze upon them, you become aware that this is your higher self with all the qualities that make you who you are. They are completely connected to this divine oneness. That they are able to shift and move their energy in a way to be perceived easily by you. You feel their loving presence Fill up your heart and your mind. Allow your body and the whole sense of yourself to just relax in this energy as you bathe in this essence of you. gently this energy starts to return to the form that you first met perhaps now you have a question or perhaps your higher self has something to share with you directly Or maybe you're just happy to be bathing in their company.
and soon it is time for you to come back to the physical realm. Allow your heart to be full of gratitude for what or if anything you have received or just for the experience of being here. Knowing that this is your temple and you can return here whenever you choose. And as you go to the entrance of the temple, bidding your farewell to your higher self and thanking them for all that was shared with you, with your radiant light even brighter, you step into a beautiful bubble once again and the angels guide you down the pathway to the place where the path ends. And then guide you very gently back down through the layers of the cosmos to the earth. And as you come floating really gently down you can see the earth with its water bodies, its land, its earth bodies. You see the light. Get a sense of the peace that is available here. The love. The joy and connection. creativity, the abundance, the playfulness, the happiness, clarity in the truth, and so much more. As you fall gently, very gently and softly, back into the body as it is here and now bringing that healing with it that expansive awareness we ask Archangel Michael to embed that healing and awareness in to the physical body that we have right here right now so that we can feel that expansive shift. The awareness of the truth of who we are with the gifts that were bestowed upon us. Thank you, Archangel Michael. Thank you, angels. As we now begin to come back into the physical self, feeling where our body meets the furniture, perhaps starting to wriggle the toes, move the feet, Start to touch fingertip to fingertip. Moving hands. Perhaps moving through the shoulders or the hips. Becoming aware of the breath as we take a deep breath into the physical body. And a long out breath through the mouth. And then gently taking your time and only when and if you are ready, coming back into the room.